it's been an interesting week for the New York Yankees. Um, walked off against the Mets as the bullpen continues to struggle. Um, they finally lose to the Baltimore Orioles after 19 tries. I must include that in there. But to me, the most interesting development of what's happened over these last few weeks has been the performance of Garrett Cole. And Cole obviously not looking like himself at the moment. His ERA is approaching four right now after he basically looked unhittable for the last two seasons and probably should have won the Cy Young Award last year, lost it to teammate Justin Verlander at the time, signed the big deal this offseason. And he got off to a fast start, looked pretty good, but the home run ball was still a problem for him. Last two starts, things have changed to the point where the home run ball is literally killing him. I mean, Ronald Acuna is hitting nukes off him. Marcelo Zuna, those two combined to hit two balls that went over 900 feet combined. That, that, that's the point we're at with Garrett Cole. And then his last start, G-Man Choi goes yard. Kevin Kiermeyer goes yard. The home run ball just continues to be a massive problem for Garrett Cole. And in his most recent press conference, he looked like he was on the verge of tears talking about what has happened to him. And this is, this is a really interesting lesson and what we're going to take a look at in a sec, but I, I have a lot of questions for Garrett Cole and well, let's take a look at what we're talking about. right now. You're right. I mean, the home runs, the, the doubles, it's just, you know, whenever I'm over the plate, the, the hitter's very certain of what's coming and, and whether that's an approach or, you know, you know, trying to get an edge ver- with, with a tip or, or whether it's just, you know, it's a good swing on a good pitch and maybe some bad luck, maybe a combination of all three. I haven't really put my thumb on it, but I'm certainly aware of it and certainly trying to get ahead of it. And just to make sure you, you don't think you're tipping anything, are you? I think, I think we all pretty much, I think we all pretty much tip pretty much every game when one way or gotcha. another. So, yeah. um, you know, guys, you know, but I mean, James, how many pitches a game? I don't know. You know, some, some games it may be – some games, maybe, you know, the other team has an edge, four, five, six, seven pitches. Some days it might be more. You know, there are, some hitters look for it. Some hitters don't. I mean, it, there's – I think the point is there's, there's, there's several different factors that are contributing to the certainty with which guys are getting their swings off in certain counts. Uh, and so, yeah, we're, we're, I'm looking to address that. So that's Garrett Cole after his most recent start. And the poor guy looks like he's on the verge of tears at the moment, talking about the way he's been pitching recently. And I, I, I have a lot of things to address here about this press conference specifically, but look, I want to start with the tipping pitches part because he, obviously people do tip pitches all the time and they pitchers don't even notice it half the time. But the problem with me with Garrett Cole here is that, It seems like he's suggesting that people know what's coming all the time now because he is tipping his pitches. And that, for me, it it sounds like he's suggesting that there's some type of cheating going on in baseball. That, And I'm not saying he is, but the way he comes off in that press conference to me suggests that he thinks that people are cheating and stealing signs to know what's coming for Garrett Cole. Man, I hate to break it for you, but you have no sort of wiggle room after you come from a Houston Astros team that religiously stole signs and did this for two years on a level that no one else has seen before. You have no wiggle room in that argument if that's the case. So I'm not saying it is, but at the same time, it sounds like he is. So let's address that right out of the book. Second off, the the part that really gets to me here is that Garrett Cole is acting like people know what's coming every pitch for him even when he makes good pitches because he's tipping his pitches. I hate to break it to you, man, but Garrett Cole is a two-pitch pitcher right now. And when you're a two-pitch pitcher, it's pretty obvious what's coming 50% of the time. I mean, you got to hunt fastball or you hunt slider because that's all Garrett Cole has right now. He only has two effective pitches at the moment. And yes, it worked for him last year because his stuff was phenomenal and his location was excellent, but that's not the case right now. In his last start against Tampa Bay, his slider looked terrible. And against Atlanta as well, he gave up two home runs against a slider. So that's three home runs given up against a slider when it's over the plate in his last two starts. You're not going to be effective when your best pitch is getting crushed the way it is right now. The problem with Garrett Cole to me right now is that he needs to use his changeup more and he needs to use his curveball more. But the problem is he's not using 
either pitch, and he's even when he's using it, he's not using it effectively. Going into his last start, Garrett Cole was using his changeup only 4% of the time, which is cut in half from what it was last year. It's up to 5.5% now because he finally realized that his two pitches that he was using, his fastball and his slider, were getting murdered early in that game, and he had no other choice but to start throwing his changeup. His curveball is only throwing 15% of the time, but his curveball, he's not throwing it for strikes right now. I believe it was against Atlanta where he threw like 16 curveballs and only three of them ended up being strikes. You can't have a pitch like that. That's not going to be effective. You have to, if you want to be effective, you have to use that pitch and throw it for strikes. I've, he's got to figure something out with one of those two pitches right now, because you want to know why you're predictive because you only have two effective pitches right now. And when hitters can limit you to two pitches and take away basically what makes him successful, because he's usually so unpredictable with being able to drop in that knuckle curve successfully, like he did last year in Houston and being able to throw that change up consistently to left-handed hitters. He's not doing either of that this year. Garrett Cole has become a two pitch pitcher right now. And teams are sitting on both of those pitches. Another thing to note about those two pitches. Also his spin rate has dropped on all four of his pitches from was a year ago and pretty significantly too. His changeup and curveball have dropped drastically in terms of spin rate and his fastball and slider to a lesser degree, but it's still dropped a little bit. And when you're only going to be throwing those two pitches and they're less effective when they were last year, you're going to struggle and you're going to get hit hard at the major league level. And when you're only throwing the fastball and the slider, especially when the slider doesn't look good right now, you're probably going to get hit. And that's probably why teams know what's coming to you, Garrett Cole. You're probably not tipping pitches. And honestly, after saying all this for me, he's going to go out and shove against the Orioles tonight. There's no doubt in my mind, after everything I'm saying, he's probably going to go out there, throw eight innings, strike out everyone, and be back to the Garrett Cole that we all know and love. But Garrett Cole right now, if, if he continues to pitch with the same arsenal that he's pitched with over his last two starts and really this entire year, teams are going to hit him hard. And he's still going to miss bats because his stuff is good enough. But he needs to find a way to either use the changeup and the curveball a little more, or he's got to find a way to be effective with both his fastball and a slider. And I, I'm guessing the, that latter option is going to be pretty tough to do when he's not throwing his slider well right now. And he only has two pitches and his fastball has been all over the plate right now. So that is my gripe with Garrett Cole right now. He's whining and complaining that he's tipping pitches or he's someone's cheating to take his pitches. Dude, that's not the case right now. You got, you got to accept and take the blame yourself that you are not pitching to what you're capable of doing right now. And to me, that's the problem with Garrett Cole.